first of all, give me a sense of how the potential government shakeup after the election on Sunday could impact healthcare companies. We're going, we're, good morning, first of all, and thank you for having me. We are determined uh, to work with any government, whatever uh, the shape of it is going to be, for as long as we have an opportunity for a rational dialogue uh, and where we have an opportunity to uh, bring across our ideas how patients going forward can be helped uh, even better. I believe there is quite a lot of noise in the various programs of the different political parties. Uh, I believe we are going to get a somewhat different and more re realistic picture after the election. Um, Mr. Sturm, overall, what do you see the biggest change in healthcare? I mean, we see a lot of disruptions, partly because of the pandemic, partly just because it's a business that hasn't been disrupted as much as others. How do you see your industry and Fresenius changing in the next five years? To the degree that we are a service provider, and we are predominantly that in our dialysis, but also in our European hospital business, um, we have been talking about that mega trend about um, inpatient treatments gradually moving to outpatient treatments, outpatient treatments, then thereafter moving into a patient's home. That trend is still ongoing and arguably has even been accelerated. Um, by COVID. What we also do see as a uh, second trend, obviously, is more, a move more towards digitalization. Um, you know, we got to get closer to a patient, closer into a patient's home, uh, and with that also make um, the treatment of a higher quality. And thirdly, uh, there's a long list, but may I'll leave it at three. Thirdly, um, that we as providers can assume a larger responsibility also financially for a patient's uh, well-being. Um, the financial risk uh, of patient coverage that should be borne by those who actually uh, manage a patient's health. Uh, there were reports in the media, Mr. Strom, that actually Fresenius and you were looking at a possible breakup. I know you, of the company. I know you shot that down, that, you know, as speculation, something that you're not interested in. What would make you look at the possibility of actually keeping certain units whilst, you know, either selling off or spinning off other ones? Uh, Francine, I haven't shot that down at all. Uh, I have said that we need to be open. Uh, to review the group structure against the backdrop of an underperformance of our share price and uh, a very low valuation. Um, we, uh, I have to admit that, for various more or less good reasons, haven't been able to show more meaningful earnings growth in the last years. Uh, and against that backdrop, uh, a very healthy uh, group structure that um, served as well, that gave us very healthy diversification, uh, in the eyes of many investors, have turn, has turned into something that is rather excessively complex. Um, and so what we are doing as we speak uh, is uh, to go through ways, alternative scenarios, how we can still preserve operating synergies, also synergies mm -hmm. below the EBIT line in terms of saved interest and tax expenses, um, but at the same time reduce uh, complexity. Um, that but is a... Go ahead. Are you telling me? Yeah. Are you telling me that the current structure is is therefore possibly not the right one? It may well be. That is just what we're trying to figure out. That uh, that structure has served as well. It did not prevent us from uh, uh, getting a 20 PE. It took us to our all-time high as far as the share price is concerned. But things are changing, and therefore that is what we are determined to analyze. And I have committed to give at least an interim update as part of our Q4 results presentation next February. Mr. Sturm, we only have about 50 seconds left. How much of or how much can you mitigate some of the rising energy prices? Uh, we do not have a major exposure to uh, rising energy prices at all. Um, we are, when it comes to cost inflation, are primarily looking uh, at sales, uh, salaries and wages. Uh, and also we're looking to some raw materials uh, that are pharmaceutical specific. Um, energy, we are well hedged uh, for the medium term and all in all mm -hmm. have a minor exposure anyway. Mr. Sturm, always a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you so much for coming on. Stefan Sturm there, the chief executive of Fresenius, joining us from the Goldman Sachs Berenberg 10th German Corporate uh, Conference.